Hi, this is Gina from MoneyWiseMoms.com. It's Sunday night and I'm sitting down to do my weekly meal plan, so I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how I actually do this every week. You know, I've talked about meal planning so many times as a way of saving money, but it also saves you a lot of stress. If you just take 15 or 20 minutes, one night a week, you can get your husband or your kids to help you if you need some help get it coming up with ideas. It can really save you a lot of trouble over the course of the week. What I try to do each week is shop one store just one time so I'm not running back and forth to the grocery store with the kids. So every Sunday night when I sit down, I like to have a few things with me. I always have my grocery ads that come in the weekly newspaper. I have a couple of recipe books handy if I'm planning on trying anything. I have a piece of paper and a pencil just to write it down, and sometimes I need to have my calendar. If you have a lot of afternoon or evening activities so that you get home late into the dinner time, you might want to have your calendar handy, and that will help you in planning your meals. So my goal each week is to hit just one grocery store one time, and we have three different grocery stores in my town, so what I like to do is flip through the weekly ads when I get them and pick the one store that has the most sales, the most types of things that I'm looking for. So right now I do have chicken in the house from last week, but I don't have anything else. So I'm looking for the ad that has the most types of protein that we can buy for the week, and this week that happens to be Safeway. Just looking at the front page, they have a couple of things that would make for some really easy meals this week. They have um, the round roast on sale, which I like to use in the crock pot. Now every Wednesday we have gymnastics after school. We don't get home till about 5.30. So I love to use the crock pot every Wednesday. It's great when I walk in the house at dinner time with all three kids and we're all hungry. The whole house smells good and dinner's ready to go. So I'm definitely going to pick that up this week. I'm going to go ahead and write that down on my list. The other thing they have on sale this week is some ground beef and my kids have been asking for tacos. So I'll go ahead and put that on my list as well. Now as you're planning out these meals, it's really important to think through the entire meal. If we're going to serve a crock pot roast, well what do I need? What are the things that go in the crock pot? I might need to check one of my recipe books or look online, but I also need to think about sides. Are you going to have potatoes, rice, noodles? What kind of vegetable are you going to have on the side? And then what I'll do is make my grocery list here and head over to my own pantry and see if I happen to have it on hand. If I don't, I know I need to pick it up this week at the store. They've also got a lot of produce on sale this week. I know I can get some bagged salad, some tomatoes, and pick up a cucumber, and that'll give us salad two or three nights of the week. Then I'll also use some of those things for tacos. If you don't have a big repertoire of recipes right now, or you don't know a lot of this off the top of your head, I want you to think about backwards meal planning. I've mentioned that before. Think about the things that you're already cooking all the time, the things that your kids like to eat. It's probably macaroni and cheese, pizza, hamburgers, tacos, the same as everybody else. Keep it really easy when you're first starting your meal planning. Just do the recipes that you know how to do. If you want to try some easy recipes, I hope you'll head over to my recipes page. Those are some of our family favorites kids included that they ask for all the time. I'm always talking about the pork chops and things that my kids really like. Those are really easy recipes. If you're trying something new, I would recommend that you try it on a weekend when you have a little more time and you're not feeling so rushed. So just by flipping through my ad, I get a lot of ideas for what to have to eat. One of the things that my son asked for this week was chicken soup, a chicken chowder actually, that we haven't had in a while. So I don't remember what that takes, so I'm going to need to look that up in one of my recipe books and write down all the ingredients. And after I do that, I know that I'll have everything on hand. I really like with meal planning that I don't spend every day wondering, starting in the morning, well, what are we going to have tonight? What will we have tonight? I wonder what I have in the fridge. It's all there. I've already shopped for it, and I don't need to run back to the store over and over. That's one of the ways I've really cut down on my grocery spending. By trying to go to the store just the one time a week, it really helps. I'm not going back and forth, especially with the kids, and hitting all those impulse buys between me and the kids. So once you have your whole week planned out and you figured out what else you need for breakfasts and dinners, you could make that one trip to the grocery store early in the week and have everything that you need. It'll keep you from going back to the store over and over. It'll keep you from wondering every day what's for dinner, and it saves you a lot of money in the long run. It's also actually less stress for you because you're not worrying about it every day, and you actually end up eating a little bit healthier. Even if you cook pizza at home or hamburgers and fries at home, it's still a lot healthier than eating in a restaurant, and you know that it costs less. If you're a beginner or you have some questions about meal planning, I hope you'll leave me a question or a comment under this post in the comments. Thanks for listening.